Good evening and welcome to Killy TV. It's Friday night, it's Derby Day and it's Super Killy Away. We are around 15 minutes away from kick-off in the final Ayrshire Derby of the season as Kilmarnock make the short journey down the A77 to take on an in-form Air United side at Somerset Park. Championship fixtures simply do not come any bigger than this. And for Kilmarnock this evening, two changes to Derek McInnes' side. Uh, the big the big headlines are Chris Stokes, the captain, comes back in alongside Kyle Lafferty and Ewan Murray and Chris Burke drop to the bench. It's a starting level. It looks like it might be a traditional 4-4-2 for Kilmarnock this evening. And for the home side this evening, Lee Bullen has named an unchanged side from the team that beat Wraith Rovers 4-0 last week. Lafferty wins it there. He's Fraser Murray. Murray cuts it. Rory McKenzie's through! Oh. And Kilmarnock have an early lead at Somerset Park. It's number seven, Rory McKenzie. He's done it before in the Ayrshire Derby. He scored the winner in 2014 in a League Cup tie. And he gives Kilmarnock the lead here at Somerset Park in this game of games. It's Air United nil, Kilmarnock one, Tom. Brilliant start, a great goal, great touch from Lafferty, great finish, great layoff. Everything about that goal was special. Great start for Kilmarnock. A touch here for Lafferty was great. You know, he could, have, he could have shot his hair. A great reverse pass and a great finish from McKenzie. That was absolutely fantastic play there. The flick on from Lafferty and the, the awareness from Fraser Murray to not only latch onto the ball but slip it through. And that finish from Rory McKenzie right into the back of the net. What a start for Kilmarnock. It is Air United nil. Kilmarnock won in the Ayrshire Derby. Great credit to Murray there. I thought he was lining up for the shot there and he just gave them the eyes with the reverse pass. Derek McInnes could not have asked for a better start here. Potential for a long one into the box here. Will be Fraser Murray this time on the left hand side. Right footed corner in swinging. Good flick on there. And it's 2 0. Kilmarnock double the lead after 12 minutes. And it's Ollie Shaw. What a moment for Ollie Shaw. He gets his second Ayrshire Derby goal of the season and his 12th goal of the season for Kilmarnock. What a finish that was. What a moment. Man of the moment, Ollie Shaw, Tom. Oh, without a doubt. Again, a great work free kick. You can tell they've been working on it in the training ground. Great ball in for Murray. Great flick on it. And Ollie Shaw's timed his run perfectly there. The flick on from Kyle Lafferty in the, at the front post was absolutely fantastic. Just darted inside, then outside, flicked it on at the back post, and there was Ollie Shaw to scud home his 12th goal of the season. It is Air United nil, Kilmarnock 2 after 12 minutes. The perfect start to the Ayrshire Derby for Derek McInnes' men. Kelly really starting to pile on the pressure and turn the screw here. Another good ball in, and it's 3-0, it's 3-0, Jack Sanders makes it 3-0 to Kilmarnock at Somerset Park after just 15 minutes, an incredible start to this derby match, Jack Sanders, the colonel popping up with his potentially, what a massive goal here for, for Kilmarnock and Derek McInnes could not have asked for anything better than this. No, it's absolutely fantasy stuff. 3-0 up after 16 minutes. And again, it's came from a set piece. It came from a corner. Well worked corner. Again, a flick on. Brilliant. Jack Sanders with his third goal of the season for Kilmarnock. He was in the SPFL Team of the Week after his performance last weekend. He might be in it once again with this performance and that goal tonight. Absolutely fantastic stuff. It is Air United 3, Kilmarnock. Sorry. Air United nil, Kilmarnock three. Getting a wee bit. All the excitement's getting me a wee bit mixed up there. Sanders. Muirhead nods it back inside. Big high boot by Kyle Lafferty, sending Alan Shaw in behind on the left hand side. Ollie Shaw facing up Aaron Muirhead. Sends him one way, then the other. Ollie Shaw. That was. That looked close as well. A deflection there as well. McCandle done that. You don't Piotr for the chance to drive forward. Good bit of play though by the centre back. 
Drives inside, left footed shot, and that is very well saved from Zach Hemming. That looked like it was going right into the top corner from Marcus Fjortoft. Yeah, that was heading straight in the back of the net there, Sean. Again, Hemming's keeping his concentration, doing his job. Thanders oh. sends in behind oh. for Oli Shaw. Oh. Oh. Last man. And it's a red card for Marcus Fjortoft! He was the last man there, Oli Shaw was clean through, and Marcus Fjortoft came off the bench just recently and he's already been sent off absolute catastrophe for Air United it just can't go any worse for him Sean I mean look at Lee he does know it. it's a test for him as a manager as a new young manager what, what do you do he's just got no luck whatsoever interesting to note just how far forward Chris Stokes is having a licence to get yep he's definitely he's definitely feeling good about himself tonight oh Stephen well that's a slack ball there from Stephen McGinn is it Kerr McEnroy picks it up and finds Adloy. Adloy inside to McEnroy. McEnroy and he's left foot! And it's 3 1. The 10 men of air have got a goal back, and it is Kerr McEnroy. Kerr McEnroy with his first goal for the Honest Men. He scored a few crackers for Airdrie early on in the season. And it's, it's no wonder with a, a left foot like that. Austin hooks it. Ollie Shaw could be in behind here. Ollie Shaw facing up the facing up the centre back. Opts to shoot from distance and he Kyle Lafferty is understandably really angry there. He should have he probably should have played him in behind there instead of taking the shot on him. Ollie Shaw looking for a second goal there. Understandably so, but should be playing for the team there, looking for the pass. Uh, Lafferty's absolutely raging. I had a feeling Shaw was going to go for his set, go for it in his own there. Waters in swinger into the middle of the box that's dangerous oh. and all oh, that should have been four Jack Sanders should have had a second of the game there good ball in Sanders at the back post great run from Sanders but his the finish up on his on his left foot just evades him okay it's a great work to come and kick Sanders started his run there from the penalty spot and everyone turns to the referee and that is the final whistle and it ends, Air United 1, Kilmarnock 3, Kilmarnock top dogs in Ayrshire, top dogs in the championship, they go to the top of the table tonight. And what a three points that is in the championship title race, a huge derby win for Derek McInnes' men, a first half blitz with Rory McKenzie, Ollie Shaw and Jack Sanders getting on the score sheet.